So the general idea behind hiring an arborist, a professional arborist, is that it's a highly skilled profession, actually. We don't think of it that way because anybody can buy a chainsaw, but really the climbing in the tree, using a gear like what I'm wearing, what you can maybe see in the background, takes a lot of expertise and skill and training. So if you're looking at pruning your tree and you want to maybe do it yourself, my general rule of thumb is if you need to do anything above your head and you need to involve a chainsaw, you should hire a professional unless you've been professionally trained in how to use that equipment. There's a lot of fatalities and a lot of very serious injuries that can happen when homeowners try to do things like uh, tree trimming and pruning above their head on their own, including ladders. People don't think about it, but a lot of the injuries come from falling off ladders or just not really understanding. They can cut a branch and don't understand how that branch might swing or fall. And so the biggest risk is danger to yourself the secondary risk is not knowing and understanding how the tree biology works and so you might actually cause more damage to the tree by trying to do the work yourself. So if it's anything bigger than small branches or anything above your head, it's really best to call a professional. So particularly if you're looking at things that happen after storms where there's lots of tree damage, the biggest thing to do is, again, if it's above the ground, you really want to call a professional arborist. People don't understand that when branches are broken, it's not like a two by four. There's a lot of tension and there's a lot of physics involved in how that branch might twist and break. And we've seen really horrible accidents when homeowners try to stand on a branch and cut it themselves and not understanding how that tree will go. We've seen people thrown in the air from a branch as pressure is released. And so a trained certified arborist is really going to know how to assess that situation and remove that damaged debris or remove that tree or just prune that tree in a way that's safest for both the homeowner themselves and the best biology for the tree. So when it comes time to actually pick an arborist or call because you decide you need some tree work done, whether it's tree removal or whether it's pruning of branches, first things you want to do is look uh, to your city and see if there's a list, if some cities maintain a list of who's licensed to do work in that particular city. The other thing you want to do is look to make sure that they're certified arborist. In Nebraska, you can either be a Nebraska certified arborist or you can be an International Society of Arboriculture certified arborist. You can be both. And having at least one or multiple of those certification tells us that the arborist has gone through at least some, some of the basic trainings and understands the biology of the tree. You also want to make sure that they're licensed and insured in their community and in that community so that if an accident does happen, it's not going to, uh, the homeowner will be covered in that case. So basically what it comes down to is if you look at a tree and you have to get off the ground or you have to use uh, any special equipment like chainsaws, you want to hire an arborist, particularly after storms where there's different forces at play and it can be very, very dangerous to do even removal of the debris. And so hiring a professional that's trained, certified, licensed, insured, and has experience to remove that is really an important feature.